every single person can benefit from correcting your habitual breath because we know that 90% of people are breathing improperly. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Thrive State Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. V, triple board certified MD and performance and longevity expert. And this topic is a topic that is near and dear to my heart, a, a modality that I am such a fan of. I lead people through uh, breathwork sessions. And today we actually have a breath master who will talk a little bit more about breathwork, but also the summit that she's throwing. Uh, breath is one of these things that once you get a chance to know, it could transform your whole outlook on life. The state that we are in actually has a corresponding physical pattern, a corresponding breathing pattern, and a corresponding pattern to the messages that every single cell is getting. So here's the cool thing that with the breath, you could start to actually change the pattern of breathing and that will actually change our state. In fact, it's one of the most important ways of shifting our state. So I can't be more excited to dive into to this conversation we're having today on breath work with breath master Jen Broyles. But if you are new to this podcast, please do us a favor, subscribe now. This podcast is really a podcast to deliver the tactics, the tools, and techniques from thought leaders from all around the world to elevate your life. If you are a returning podcast listener, thank you for being a part of this journey, for helping this show grow, for allowing the message of this podcast to reach uh, different people out there. Uh, you can help support this podcast by sharing this podcast with your friends and family and leaving us a five-star review wherever podcasts are heard. Also, if you haven't already done so, pick up a copy of the second edition of Thrive State at thrivestatebook.com. It is a book that really allows you to master your state. What are the different areas in your life that are most important to master your state, to master your being, to control the energy that you're giving yourselves? Find out on how to do this on the most important critical areas of doing it. And then also learn this impact framework that, that I guide you through to make more conscious choices as to how you show up on the messages you're giving yourselves and the messages you're giving to people all around the planet. Again, the second edition is available at thrivestatebook.com. And on to today's episode where we talk with Jen Broyles about breath work. The breath is something that is a beautiful thing. Breath is life. But through the breath and through the pattern and methodology of breathing, we could have a completely different experience of life itself. Many people don't know, but if you are trapped in the routines and the stresses of everyday life, you're actually breathing through probably your chest and probably breathing very rapidly. But there's another way of going about that. You could breathe a little bit more shallow through your nose and it'll change your biology. Then there's different type of breathing techniques that we can use to actually activate and quiet down the thing that kind of keeps us trapped in probably stress in our in, in, in the ways of thinking that do not elevate the best parts of us. You can do that with the breath and with breathing techniques. And this is why I'm so excited to have this conversation with Jen Broyles and for her to tell you about this breathwork summit, which you can learn so much more about the breath. You know, Jen Broyles for over 10 years have been helping people from all walks of life break through their blocks and create a path of wellness, happiness, and abundance. And with her unique brand of breathwork, holistic health practices, and transformational coaching, she's actually helped countless of people transform their lives for the better. Whether you're looking to improve your health to overcome stress and anxiety or activate abundance in your life, Jen is here to provide you the support and guidance you need to make those dreams a reality all through this power of breathwork. You're gonna to want to know her. You're gonna to want to attend the summit. So stay to the very end, listen to all of it, then click on the link below. Join me as I'm one of the speakers in the breathwork summit. And please enjoy this conversation with Jen Broyles. 
Jen Broyles, welcome to the Thrive State Podcast. Thank you, thank you, Ken. Great to be here. <laughs> now, we're going to dive into the topic of breath work, which is one of my favorite modalities. But before we get into that, we'd like to get to know a little bit more about you in a segment of a show I like to call the Five to Thrive. Five questions, game show style, less than 30 seconds answer each. And if you win the show, you get a nice healthy meal on me the next time we meet. So the, my question to you is, Jen Broyles, are you ready to play the Five to Thrive? Let's do it. Question number one. As a child, you, you used to dream of being a blank. Doctor. Ah, question number two. What was one book that was like a big aha, eye-opening book uh, that you've read in your the Untethered Soul by Michael oh, Singer. Oh, so good. So good. I recommend that book for, for, for anybody. Question number three is, if we put you on stage to sing a karaoke song in front of 50,000 people, what song would you pick? First of all, that is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I love music, but I'm not a singer. Um, gosh. Well, that's what karaoke is for. You have to recognize there are singers that, that put on concerts, but then there's karaoke, which all you need to do is to have, you know, be able to release and have some fun. What song would that be? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is hard. Um, girls just want to have fun. There you go. There you go. Question mm -hmm. number four is if you were trapped in an elevator and for, for 24 hours, you knew you were going to get out in 24 hours, but you were trapped in a very small space. What one thing from the outside world would you have with you? Probably some calming essential oils. Essential oils. Very nice. And question number five is how does Jen Broyles want to be remembered? Mm, that's a great question. Kind, compassionate, strong leader, inspirational, Ooh, supporter. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And I get all of those things from your smile. I actually feel mm, all of those thanks. things from your smile. So so thank you for that. And uh, hey, five out of five, you got all questions right, which means the next time we meet, there is a healthy meal on me. So welcome to the Yay. Thrive State Podcast. Uh, we got introduced uh, by a good friend because you're putting on a very fascinating summit, which uh, we'll, we'll dive into a little bit later. It's called the Breathwork Summit. And you are actually a breath master and teaching people that modality. Tell me, what was Jen Broyles doing prior to, you know, uh, in her life, prior to breath work? And how did breath work enter your life? Yeah, that's such a great question. So let's uh, rewind several years, um, you know, over 10 years. I, I started out really career in business and marketing and then transitioned into pharmaceutical sales mm -hmm. and did that for a while. And, um, you know, that was my avenue into medicine without going to med school. Right. Um, and so, and, and conventional medicine is, is the, the, the avenue that I knew I didn't really know much outside of that. I really felt like I was adding a lot of value in, in the role in pharmaceutical sales. And then um, I started dealing with my own health cha challenges. Um, I started experiencing pretty chronic gut issues. And then that, that turned into also hormone issues and anxiety. And at the time, I didn't really understand this whole mind body connection. And I thought everything was separate. And I was seeing all these different doctors and specialists in my mid twenties, um, early thirties and being prescribed all of these different medications and undergoing all these different tests and nothing was really helpful. And, you know, I expected to be given a drug and to be, okay. <laughs> you know, that was just like, that's what I, that's, that's what I knew. And, and, and that, that didn't happen. Um, and so it really encouraged me to look outside my little box that, that I lived in. And so I started reading books on nutrition and realized I, what I thought I knew about nutrition was not 
true. There was a lot more to it. And I discovered this world of functional medicine, integrative medicine, holistic wellness, and my eyes were just open to this whole new way of um, perceiving health and healing. And so I started working with, you know, my own functional medicine doctors and healers and went back to school because I just developed such a passion for everything that I was learning in books and um, really didn't feel like I could go back into the role I was in in pharmaceutical yeah. sales and uh, decided to go back to school and study integrative nutrition. I started out as a health coach, supporting other people dealing with digestive issues and really helping them clean up their diet and get on a protocol that really supported the healing of their gut um, and then certain supplements and all of that. And then what I found for myself and then for my, for a lot of my clients was um, there would be progress and then there would be a plateau, you know, and it's like, what is that? And myself and many of my clients are, you know, the type A perfectionist personality, um, follow all the rules, you know, do everything to a T, including like my gut healing diet and all of my supplements. I'm like, what in the world? Like I'm doing everything perfectly. Why is this not working? And so what I came to find out is that, okay, there's stuff underneath that. There, there are um, patterns, ways of thinking, ways of perceiving, ways of being, and then also old emotional imprints. And um, for some people, like certain traumas that are underneath some of these physical ailments and imbalances that get yeah. to be addressed, get to be looked at, get to be processed. And, um, so I started implementing different tools to kind of support my self-care, right. Um, including meditation and journaling and all these different things, which I find super, super supportive, but it was around that time where I say breathwork found me because I wasn't looking for it. I had not heard of breathwork. I knew some breathing techniques, but really was paying no attention to the breath whatsoever. And until it came up in conversation several times, I was like, okay, this is, this has come into my awareness enough times at this point where I get to pay attention. Let's see what this breathwork thing is all about. And I attended several breathwork classes. Um, at the time I was traveling in Southern California, where I was able to find a number of different breathwork classes. And each and every one of them was just this profound experience, unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. Um, I call it meditation on steroids, but it was just like, how can I change my state so dramatically just through how I breathe? And, you know, some of the sessions I'd have these powerful emotional releases where I'm just crying the entire time and I don't know why, but it feels good. Other times we're yelling and laughing or screaming. And then other times I just feel this like pure sense of bliss and oneness and connection and I feel amazing, you know? And so I was in, I was totally drawn into to, to breath work and um, particularly one style of breath work that I just found really amazing um, that I wanted to do regularly. And I dove into my own practice and through that practice daily, consistent daily practice of breath work, um, I felt this nudge to share it with others. And so that's what I've been doing. I got trained in, in breath work and have um, done extensive training um, as a breath therapist. And um, it's really become the core foundation of my practice now where everything is rooted in the breath. We start there and we, we bring in other components to health and healing as well, but um, we can accomplish so much um, just through the, the medicine that's within us. It is our breath. Oh, that is amazing. Uh, and certainly I have been not only somebody who has uh, experienced the same type of wonders that you've experienced, oneness, connectiveness, insights, inner knowing, releases uh, through breath work that, you know, I am certainly a fan how I guide people through as well. Let's break uh, break down a little bit as to how how breathwork seems to have these miraculous things. What about breathwork, um, you know, seems to be so powerful in its 
healing modalities and purposes? How, how do people reach these states of bliss and inner knowing? What, what seems to be happening from a physiologic basis yeah. you find? Yeah, absolutely. So, so let's talk first about you know, an actual breathwork session that could be 60 minutes, 90 minutes, sometimes they're even longer than that. And you're breathing in a specific way, um, some form of rhythm, whether it's fast or slow or through the nose or through the mouth and usually along with music. And I also incorporate visualization, affirmations and meditation into it as well. Um, when you start to breathe in a certain way, um, you First of all, you have uh, an impact on the carbon dioxide to, to oxygen ratio. Mm -hmm. So you're changing that up too, which can either have um, a very stimulating, activating effect, or it can have a very calming, relaxing effect, depending on if you are activating the sympathetic nervous system or, act or, or stimulating the parasympathetic, which is that rest, relax, and digest. Um, another thing that happens with the breath work as you're breathing in, in a rhythm um, for a period of time and potentially adding in breath holds, which I do in the breath work that I teach, we are able to silence or start to start to silence and, and, and quiet the default mode network. Yes. And so that is kind of the part of the brain that is that racing mind, the mental chatter, the ego all the things that potentially are keeping you stuck in a situation that you want to move forward in, um, you know, whether it's a career, a health challenge, a relationship, whatever it may be, um, we have these programs, right, that we often formed early in childhood. And they, if we didn't allow ourselves to process certain things early in childhood, then it shapes us, you know, it creates these programs and these patterns and these behaviors and these ways of being that we as children received and absorbed like little sponges from the people around us, you know, the adults in our lives, our, our parents, our community, our spiritual teachers, our, te our school teachers, all of these people. And we create these programs kind of like a computer. And so, so we carry that into adulthood and it shapes who we are and how we show up. And, um, and it also contributes again to um, those, what we might call negative feelings, negative emotions, limiting beliefs of I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I don't deserve this. I'm trying to achieve this and it's not happening. What is wrong? You know, and it's why we don't accomplish the goals we set out to accomplish or new year's resolutions. And so we start to silence all of that. Mm -hmm. And through that process, we can begin to let stuff go. Okay. We can begin to release old trapped emotions that have been stored in the body, but potentially for decades. Um, and the beautiful thing about that is that we may have a memory come up, but it's not necessary. Like we can release emotions without even having a conscious memory of what is going on, we may just find that we're crying and we don't realize it, or we're laughing or we're shaking. Like I tend to have pretty cathartic releases where my body physically shakes um, because something's being processed and I don't have to remember what it is, but I do get to lean into it and let it go. Um, and then through that process as well, we get to call in what it is that we do want, we get to reprogram the brain with more empowering beliefs and behaviors um, of, of how we do want to show up, of our true selves, who we truly are. And so it's a really beautiful process. It, you know, it's it's been compared oftentimes to plant medicine experiences, psychedelic medicine experiences, because it does work in a similar way. Um, it's shorter lasting, you know, some of those experiences are, you know, eight hours long or, or more, but it has a very similar effect. And there have been studies that have actually shown brain activity to be similar in a breathwork session as opposed to, uh, as opposed to like a plant medicine experience where that default mode network is going offline and we're, we're really connecting with our true nature, our true self, um, and, and can, can come into alignment with who we are, who we're called to be, what it is that we want, and um, and get clarity and insight and receive downloads and just feel that 
that feeling of peace and bliss and ecstasy and joy and love that is our essence yeah. because all of that other chatter has just kind of gone away. <laughs> so it's pretty beautiful. This episode of the Thrive State Podcast is brought to you by the Thrive State Accelerator. The Thrive State Accelerator is actually a home course that I developed using the exact same techniques I work with my celebrity clients, CEOs, and executives on how to get them to the Thrive State. The Thrive State Accelerator teaches you how to master your seven bioenergetic elements. That's sleep, nutrition, movement, stress and emotional mastery, relationships, our thoughts and mindset, as well as purpose. In this Thrive State Accelerator, you're also going to get a bonus module on optimization. That's how I talk about supplementation, peptides, all the optimization techniques I use with my clients to get them to the Thrive State. Now, for some of you who are just joining us for the first time, you guys might be wondering, what is the Thrive State? Well, the Thrive State is actually the energy the epigenetic environment we give to ourselves, telling ourselves, telling our DNA how to act and how to respond. And if we want optimal health, longevity, and peak performance, if we can master these seven bioenergetic elements, our ability to have those three things that we just said, optimal health, longevity, and peak performance is at its greatest. And it also prevents you from getting chronic symptoms like brain fog, being overweight, feeling sluggish, acne, pain, all these chronic symptoms, as well as preventing you from getting chronic disease. So getting to that thrive state is really getting to that state to master being that very best version of yourself so you could show up for you, for your family, for your business, everything that's important to you. So go ahead, check it out right now at kianbu.com slash accelerator and use coupon code podcast 25 for 25% off. Now back to the podcast. That's, that's beautiful. And, and I get a chance to speak about that in your Breathwork Summit, which I, I know is, is, is coming out. So this entire summit, you're bringing in thought leaders from all around the world speaking on the breath. Now, some people might go, well, what's there you can understand about just the breath? But, you know, it goes so deep. So what can people, you know, who do you have in, in, in your summit? Uh, and what are the different facets of the breath and life do, do, do you go over um, uh, in this summit? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I'm super excited about the summit. I'm so glad that you're a part of it. And, you know, my vision for the summit is to bring together, you know, some of the top thought leaders in a variety of areas of health and wellness. We've got several of the world's top breath masters. Um, we've also got functional medicine doctors, spiritual teachers and leaders, um, plant medicine guides and facilitators, um, experts in longevity and biohacking and, um, and gut health and hormones and just a whole host of wonderful topics that we want to address. And we're anchoring it all into the breath how the breath is tied to all of it because it is it's connected to every single thing from a physical level a psychological level an emotional level and a spiritual level so we're we're covering it all oh that, that that's super amazing who have you found um you know you know who who, who might be some of the speakers that that um mm -hmm. that, that people can expect from it and has there been any particular conversation you just feel so just thinking back about that conversation you had with somebody, were, were, were there any that, that stand out? Gosh, they all stand I, I got to say, I've had some incredible interviews, incredible conversations where I've gotten to learn a lot myself and just connect with some really awesome people like you. Um, so yeah, so we've got a lot of, a lot of breath masters. I'll, I'll name a few, um, but definitely check it out. Cause I'm, pro I'm going to miss some names, but um, but people like Jesse Coomer, um, Gio Bartolomeo, Sachin Patel is going to be on here too. We've got Travis Steffens, who is the uh, founder and CEO of the Breast Source app, which I'm honored to be a part of. Super cool app where you can find all things breath, breath work related. Um, and then 
you know, we've got speakers on other modalities like the emotional freedom technique and how you can mm -hmm. use that with breath work. We've we've got people speaking on um, plant medicine, like Ben Holt, who is a, a breath master as well. And he's also going to speak to some other forms of medicine um, that offer very similar and really deep healing experiences. Um, I had a wonderful conversation with Kim Stanwood Terranova, who is a spiritual teacher. She is trained uh, through Agape University that is um, founded by Michael Beckwith. And she is the one of the key teachers and leaders at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa mm -hmm. Rica. Um, and so we had a conversation around spirituality and also the uh, technology of intention setting and what that looks like. So there's just so, so much in the summit, everything from overcoming limiting beliefs, stepping into your self-worth, um, elevating self-love to healing your body um, and to the basics and the biomechanics of breath and going into various forms of breath work. So, so much to, to, to access in this event. Wow. That, that, that's, that's so great. I mean, not, you know, until I went into the breath work myself, I just didn't realize how intricate it could be that the power of our diaphragm, it's probably the most powerful skeletal muscle there is in the body because that thing yeah. is connected, but also connected, you know, in the, the autonomic nervous system, both the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. So with that, you could almost sort of hack any state in your body. And we know that any emotional state actually has a breathing pattern um, that that's a certain way. Not many people are aware of just how they are breathing every single day and that their state kind of um, is governed by that, but how a change in the breathing pattern can actually change your state. Yes, yes, exactly. And I love, I love this topic. Um, it's just like correcting your habitual breath, yeah. right? Because whether or not you get into like, breathwork sessions and doing hour long experiences and stuff like that, which is amazing. Every single person can benefit from correcting your habitual breath because we know that 90% of people are breathing improperly. Yeah. Let's and, talk about that. What is that improper yeah. breathing that, that the people are yeah. having? Because I don't even think they know that that's improper breathing. That's just kind of the way they breathe. Let's talk yeah, about that. exactly. We weren't taught how to breathe. No one talks about it. We don't pay attention to it because again, it, like thankfully it, our breath is under the influence of our autonomic nervous system. So it happens in the background, kind of like our heart rate and our blood pressure. Um, so it's great that we don't have to think about it. We don't have to consciously control it. And the problem comes in when we are living in chronic stress, yeah. because when that happens, then our breath gets hijacked by stress as well. And so what some of the things that, that can happen um, when your breath is hijacked by stress and you're not breathing properly is you're breathing erratic. So you're not breathing in a regular consistent rhythm. You're breathing really fast. And so one of the goals of the breath work that, that I do my breath is we want to help people and teach people to breathe at a slower rate. Most people are breathing 10 plus breaths per minute. Very sick, highly stressed people are breathing even more than that. The ideal breath rate for humans is five and a half breaths per minute. That's really slow. If you time yourself on how, like, and really don't try to change anything, just breathe normally and time yourself for a minute and see how many breaths you're taking per minute. For most people, it's going to be 10 or more. And so there's no, there's no judgment. There's no criticism in that, but just like part of breath work is breath awareness. And so mm -hmm. just bringing that awareness and saying, okay, like I get to, you know, begin to change this pattern. So fast breathing, shallow breathing, like breathing just through the upper part of yes. your lungs, which again, most people do, we only learn, use 30% of our lung capacity. We're just breathing up here. Um, breathing through the mouth instead of the nose and holding your breath unconsciously. So 
So let's first talk about nose breathing versus mouth breathing. So we always want to be breathing in and out through our nose. This is so, so important. And um, this is one that, I mean, I've, I've gotten to change all these areas of my breath because I was not breathing properly for who knows how long, but um, in and out through the nose is how we are designed to breathe. You know, our, our nose is, has, has filters. It, those little hairs in your nose are natural air filters. So they cleanse and clean and purify the air that you're breathing in. And also when you breathe through your nose, you produce this incredible molecule known as nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. And nitric oxide is a really powerful antioxidant, antipathogen. It serves and supports so many functions in the body and it keeps you healthy. And it fights off viruses and um, bacteria and other pathogens that might be in the air. When you breathe through your mouth, you don't get that benefit. So we always want to be nostril breathing in and out through the nose. And I will say, if you're someone who is congested, your nose is clogged um, pretty regularly, um, it's, it's one of those which came first with the, the congestion or the mouth breathing, because the way to fix that and to start to clear up um, and open up your nose is to begin nose breathing. Um, and it might sound counterintuitive or like that's not possible, but I mean, things just kind of stop working when you don't use it. So you get to start using your nose again and begin breathing through your nose. One of the biggest things I hear too is that people hold their breath and they didn't even realize it. And so in breath work, we do intentional breath holds that have really great health benefits, but unconsciously holding your breath and then breathing erratically and taking these big inhales and then deep sighs and all like just being all over the place, that's not ideal. And there's actually a term now called email apnea, which is that mm. like we're on our emails and we're holding our breath as we're typing an email or reading an email. And that is, that is a stress response. And so really just beginning to tune into your breath, begin breathing in and out through your nose. Again, like you were talking about engaging the diaphragm for most of us, it's a muscle we have not used very much. So it may, it need, it gets to be worked out just like all your other muscles, but you want to feel your belly expand on the inhale and gently relax on the exhale and, um, and breathe slower. You know, you can just start with counting in for four and out for four, in through the nose for four, out through the nose for four. And, you know, take a couple minutes periodically throughout your day and do that. And over time, you know, we're creating a new habit. It takes some time, but awareness is the first step and just intentionally setting some time during your day to just take some intentional conscious breaths. And then at night, um, if you're someone you, that may be breathing through your mouth at night, which again is quite common, if you're snoring, if you find yourself drooling, if you wake up with a dry mouth or a sore throat, um, or you wake up in the middle of the night to pee, those are all signs of mouth breathing at night. So you can tape your mouth shut at mm -hmm. night, which is something that I do. Um, and so I found that to be really, really helpful as well. I just put a little piece of tape over my mouth like that. They also make mouth tape now for, <laughs> for this purpose that, so you can buy that as well. Um, but yeah, so those are some, some things to look for and some ways to begin to, um, correct your breath. That's amazing. It, it is just things like this that people, you know, think about breathing as something so innocuous, but you're bringing in the science of, of just how important it is to breathe through our nose and just mm -hmm. the different type of states and conscious levels we, we could have by changing the, the breath. This is what people are going to learn when they attend the Breathwork Summit. So let's tell the people how to actually access the summit and how, how to find out more about um, uh, how, how to get involved with it. Yeah, absolutely. So there will be a link um, in wherever your comments are. Um, so so there will be a link below. So be sure to click on the link and it's going to take you to a registration page where you can register and sign up for the summit. It's totally free to attend. Um, it, the, the dates are June 15th through the 18th. 
And so during those four days, you can attend this event for free. We've got over 35 incredible speakers. You can listen to all of their interviews and um, and all the expert advice and wisdom that they have to share. So just click on that link and sign up and join us June 15th through 18th. Sounds awesome. And how do people find out more about you and, and start following you in your work? Yeah, absolutely. So you can visit my website. It's my name, jenbroyles.com, J-E-N-B-R-O-Y-L-E-S.com. And you can contact me through my website. Um, and I've got a lot of different resources on there as well. And you can find me on Instagram at Jen Broyles. That's beautiful. Now, with everything that you've you've done, tried, I know you are a big fan of breath. So you can't answer this question by saying breath work. But what All else right. <laughs> has been your best medicine? Mm, definitely plant medicine. I mean, a, a variety of them, but I would say ayahuasca has been a beautiful teacher for me. Mm, so, so good. Well, thank you, Jen Broyles. <laughs> it's the Breathwork Summit with a beautiful host, Jen Broyles. Thank you for being on the Thrive State Podcast. Mm, thank you, Kian. Pleasure. I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Thrive State Podcast. And if this podcast is bringing a lot of value to you, if you find that your life is just improving with this podcast, that your life is getting to the next level, please consider supporting it. And here's a few ways you can do so. You can do so by liking this video and commenting on this video and also sharing this video with your friends and family. Another thing you can do is go to ratethispodcast.com slash ThriveState. Go ahead and leave us a five-star review there. It will really, really help this show grow. And it, this will give me more time so that I could actually give more content to you just like you got in this episode. And if you haven't already picked up a copy of my book, Thrive State, your blueprint for optimal health, longevity, and peak performance. You can pick it up now. It became a number one new release in longevity. Go to thrivestatebook.com. And if you enjoy the book, please consider leaving us a review as well. And the last thing you can do if you're liking everything here and you want to work uh, more closely with me as well as my team to get you into the Thrive State, Go to kianvu.com slash accelerator and consider joining the home course, the Thrive State Accelerator. It's really the course that I use. It's the concepts that I use personally when I work with CEOs, celebrities, and my high profile clients to get them to the Thrive State. Again, the Thrive State Accelerator at kianvu.com slash accelerator. And because you're a listener of this podcast, I want you to save 25% by using the coupon code PODCAST25. I hope we continue to give value to you. And remember always, you are your best medicine.